If you're not utilizing the Facebook pixel on your website in 2021, you're missing out on a massive amount of data that you can use to improve your Facebook ad campaigns. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna outline exactly what the Facebook pixel is, how to install it on your website, and how to use it for your Facebook ad campaigns. This is Elliot with Invideo, and let's get straight into it. So let's start off with what the Facebook pixel actually is. It's essentially a piece of code that you can go and install on your website to give Facebook permission to track all of the data on your site. So you can track things like which pages have been viewed, people that have added to the cart, people that have initiated the checkout, people have purchased, or any leads that you've generated through your site. Now I know it sounds scary when you hear the word code, but don't worry because the Facebook pixel is super easy to install, and I'll be showing you how to do that in just a moment. Now when the Facebook pixel tracks all of the data, this coincides directly with your Facebook ad campaigns, so you can go and see how well they're performing. So you can see the amount of people that are clicking on your ad, people that are making purchases through your ad, or any leads that you've generated through your ad. And then you can go and have a look at this data, and if your ad isn't performing well, you can go and change your ad copy or change your ad creative to go and improve your Facebook ad campaign. Not only this, but you can use all of the data that's generated through the Facebook pixel to go and run retargeting campaigns. Retargeting campaigns are where you go and run more ads to the audience that's already come over to your site to go and convince them to take more action on your site. So for example, if you clicked an ad about soccer and you went over to a site, but you didn't actually take any action, then you could go and be retargeted with another ad from that site that is about soccer in a different way and then they might be able to convince you to make a purchase. And this is the superpower of utilizing the Facebook pixel because you can go and use all of that data to go and actually generate more leads and sales through your site. If you are receiving value from the video so far, make sure to subscribe to the channel, drop a comment down below and give the video a big thumbs up. So let's go and have a look at how you can go and create and install a Facebook pixel on your site. Now don't worry what site builder you're using, whether you're using Shopify or Squarespace or WordPress, it's super easy to go and set up this Facebook pixel. The first thing you're going to have to do is head over to the Facebook Business Manager and create a Facebook business account. So if you have a personal Facebook account, you can just go and sign up for a Facebook business account as well. Once you have your Facebook business account, it will look a little something like this when you are on the dashboard of your Facebook business manager. So in order to go and create a Facebook pixel, the first thing you need to do is just go over here where it says all tools on these three lines and click on the events manager. Now, once you're in the events manager, you will see this green plus button over here that says connect data sources. So just go and click on this and then we're just gonna go and choose web and then go and click on connect. Now from here, you're gonna go and choose Facebook pixel and click connect and then you're just gonna go and name your pixel. Now when it comes to naming your pixel, just name it after your website. Once you have named your pixel, you can go and enter in your website URL over here, and then you can just go and click on continue. Once you do that, it will say select a partner integration. Now it should automatically recognize the website builder you're using. So you can see here, it recognizes that I'm using WordPress and WooCommerce. But like I said, if you're using Shopify or if you're using Squarespace or BigCommerce, it should be able to go and recognize that. So just go and choose the website builder that is applicable to your website and click on confirm. Once you do choose that, it will have a few steps that you need to follow for your particular website. And these are super easy steps that you need to go and follow through. So you will see the steps up the top here. So just go and follow through each of those steps because they do differ from each platform until you reach the step where it says set up events. Now, once you have gone through those steps, it should just say active on your Facebook pixel. So now you can go and set up the events. So don't worry, you can just go and close that window. And then from this page over here, you just need to go and click on your pixel once again. And if you scroll down, you will see open event setup tool. So an event is basically any action that's taken on your website, such as a page view, an add to cart, a checkout, or a purchase, or even a lead. So you can go and set up these events really easily. So if you go to open event setup tool, and then all you need to do is just enter in your website URL once again, and hit open website. So once you click on that, it will open your website in a new tab, and you will have the Facebook event setup tool over here. So you can basically use this tool to go and track any event or action that's taken on your website. 
So I'll just go and show you how to do this with a few examples. So you can see this site over here, if somebody clicks buy now, they go straight to the checkout. So for me, this would count as sort of an add to cart button. So what I can go and do is I can go and click on track new button. I can go and choose this buy now button. Then I can select an event. So I could go and select an add to cart event. So now you have a value. You don't always have to include a value on every button that is tracked. So I'm just gonna go and hit do not include value and click confirm. So now we've added our first button that is going to be tracked with the Facebook pixel. If we scroll down to the bottom, we also have these two purchase buttons that bring the customer over to the checkout. So once again, we can go to track new button. I can go and choose this purchase button. And once again, I can go and select the add to cart button. I don't need to include a value for this. So then I can go and hit confirm. Now what the Facebook pixel actually does, it goes and looks at similar buttons on your site. So it has recognized that this one is also a purchase button. So it's gonna go and track this button for add to cart as well. So if we go and hit purchase now, it's gonna bring us over to the checkout page. So now over here, I can go and track some more events. So if we go and scroll down over here, we've got this PayPal button. So I can go and track this so that when somebody goes and clicks this, this will be tracked as a purchase. So if I go and hit track new button, I can go and choose this PayPal button. I can go and hit select events. I can go and hit select a purchase. And this time I can go and choose a value. So if I go and choose a value on the page over here, we can go and choose this value over here, which is going to be the amount that the person pays. So whatever the total is over here, I can go and choose this. And then we've got it as the currency, which is US dollars. And I can go and hit confirm. So once you have finished tracking all of the buttons, on your site, you can just go and hit finish setup and then you can just go and hit finish. It will then just ask you for some feedback on the tool. I'm just gonna go and hit skip for this. It will then bring you back to the Facebook ads manager and now you can actually go and test that those events are working. So over here, it's gonna say go to test events. So just go and click on this and then what you can go and do is it's gonna say test browser events. So just go and hit open website. And then once your website opens, you can just go and test those events. So just go and navigate through your website as if you were a customer and you can go and see if those events are being tracked by your Facebook pixel. So if I go and hit buy now over here, we will be able to see that that initiate checkout event should come up within the Facebook events manager. So once you have gone and taken some actions on your website, you should be able to go and see in here that some of those events have taken place. Now it can take up to 24 hours for your Facebook pixel to actually kick in. So don't worry if you don't see any events coming in here straight away. But I'll just go and show you one of the other pixels over here. So you should be able to see that your events are coming in like this. So you should be able to see page view, initiate checkout, view content, add to carts, purchases, and all of those types of things. So you'll be able to go and see these in a graph as well. And that's how your data will be tracked using the Facebook pixel. Now, if you want further confirmation that your Facebook pixel is definitely working, you can go and install a Google Chrome extension called the Facebook pixel. Pixel Helper, and this will basically tell you if any website actually has a Facebook Pixel. So just go and install that Chrome extension, and then when you head over to your website, when you click on that Chrome extension, you should be able to see the name of your Pixel and then any events that are being tracked on your site. So now that we've had a look at how to set up and install the Facebook Pixel, the last thing I want to show you is just what type of data you can use from the Facebook Pixel to run retargeting ads. So in order to do this, within your Facebook Business Manager, just go over to All Tools again, and then you're gonna go and click on Audiences. Once you click on this, you can go and click on Create an Audience, go to Custom Audience, and then over here, you will see all of the data sources. So this is all of the data that is being tracked by your Facebook Pixel. So now that you have your Facebook Pixel installed and set up on your site, you are past the first fundamental steps to setting up an amazing Facebook ads campaign. It is time for you to start planning your retargeting campaigns and start getting some purchases for your business. And that's exactly what we cover in these two videos over here where we show you how to go and set up retargeting ad campaigns as well as how to create Facebook video ads that actually convert in 2021. So go and check those videos out and we'll see you on the other side.